Look at this pelito. It's just there. Ugh. Hey dolls, yes here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. I know I've been MIA and in today's video I'm going to tell you guys why I have been MIA. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a chit chat get ready with me. We're going to be doing this look right here with the new Ofra matte palette. So yeah, if you guys want to learn all about my latest adventures, if you would call it that, and how to get this look, then please keep watching. So we're going to start off with the Tarte Poreless Primer. You guys know that I love my poreless primers because I don't like to be porous. I don't know if that's the word, but that's what we are going to go with. So I'm going to focus it around this area. My headband and this thing matches. So anyways, a lot has gone on in the last month mainly negative stuff to be honest if you guys follow me on snapchat you guys know I've been going through it you guys the last month has been ugh, such a drag honestly um, August was not my month at all you guys know I usually like to stay positive and everything but it's just been such a struggle it's literally been like thing after thing after thing after thing like it was just not good now I'm gonna go with my Farsali unicorn essence I thought they were called unicorn tears but okay um, so anyways um, it all started when I got back from LA like I literally think it was like the end of um, like the end of Jan July yeah because we went over there for Edson's birthday and then Michael and I had a few meetings so we had to go take care of some stuff and every time that we go over there it's just like like you know when you get back you have to like unpack and it's just like a lot of stuff that needs to get done like while I'm gone like I don't obviously like live there all the time so when I come back I like come back to like emails and everything just like it's a lot so I decided to take that week off because I was like I'm gonna take this week off I'm gonna catch up I'm just going to I think we got back on a Tuesday or a Wednesday and I was like this week I'm just gonna catch up um, and then I'll be ready to go next week um, so I I think that Friday I did post a video here on YouTube and okay so now I'm going in with my wet and wild photo focus foundation this has been like my favorite lately you guys I'm not gonna lie it smells straight like paint but it's sorry but it is like really really good um, and I think it's like five bucks so you cannot lose and this is like the perfect color for me it's in the shade 369 cream beige so this is what I use when I'm like a little tan I'm not too tan but I'm also not my palest so anyways and I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics brush. So anyways, I decided to take that day off because or that week off because I was like, I'm just gonna like catch up with uh, you know emails, um, all this stuff, and then pre-film and everything. So I'm like ready to go the week after. Well, the week after my parents left for Mexico, both of them, my mom wasn't gonna end up going because remember, oh, that's the day that I told you guys that I broke my mom's nose. Okay, so let me just fill you guys in on that. Um, so that same weekend, yeah, it was that same weekend, um, before we left to LA, my mom and I, or all the whole family, we went to my dad's, uh, it's like an annual picnic that they have for his company, and we went over there, and it was all fun and games, it was so much fun, you know, we were having some family time, and after Michael got off of work, he headed over there and met up with us, and it was like so much fun. Well, how about on our second, no, it was our first ride that we go on, um, my mom and I, we were like sitting in this like floaty thing, and so it's me, my mom, and Michael, or Michael, my mom, and I, and we go on this thing, and we hit like this big bump, it's like one of those like wavy like water things, and how about we like hit each other or something, and I end up like banging her in the face. And when I got up, it didn't really hurt me, but I was kind of like, oh, are you okay? Like, and I was still kind of laughing because we were dying. Like, we were, like, hella laughing. We, like, I don't know if we were laughing at something, but we were cracking up when that happened. So as soon as she gets up, she's, like, she's, like, in shock because I guess I hit her so hard. And her nose is literally crooked. Like, 
like her nose is for sure broken Michael's like dude her nose is still broken like it's like noticeably like to the side from the top and so I'm like oh my god are you serious so we like have this guy stop the rest of the floaties that are coming towards us because obviously as soon as one goes another one comes you guys it was a hot ass mess because there was we were in the middle of like the slide so there was no way that we could just like slide down or slide up and the water was going so it was like taking me and I was like you guys I need help like we need help picking her up and so we had to get like three guys to come and like help her up because like we're in water right and so she's like in shock and she's like freaking out and she's like it hurts really bad and I'm like oh my god what's happening and there's like bystanders just watching because everybody's like what's going on and we had to like stop this ride it was so 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 dramatic so then the ambulance comes and oh my god so then the ambulance comes they take her she has to go like into surgery or whatever because her nose is broken so now i'm gonna go in with my born this way concealer this is in the shade light okay so then my mom like goes to get surgery or whatever and the week after um she's supposed to go to mexico with my dad well they have to like rebook the flights because they said that she can't travel a certain time after um after getting surgery or whatever so she was already like not gonna go we took my dad to the airport um that same week that i got back from la um and we take him to the airport or whatever and so she's like super sad because she doesn't get to go or whatever and then i guess the doctor ended up calling her and he told her like, you know what, you can go, but you just have to be really careful, like take these medicines, blah, blah, blah. So she like rebooks her ticket and she leaves the next day. So I had already planned on her not leaving um, ever since, you know, she broke her nose, but she ended up going. So then I'm like playing mom here and you know, I have to like help my mom get like groceries and just do all that stuff and we have 24 hours to do it because she had already decided that she was not gonna go but then she ended up going so that was a hot ass mess so then the whole day I was like busy helping her and um so I didn't get to do my work stuff you know and so then the week after that um I'm like struggling because my brothers are still on vacation so I have to like make them food and I'm like pretty much playing mom, right? And so then also they're home so it's like impossible to film anything. Um, so that was that. And then, and then what else happened? So that was that, like that was already hard as it was, like playing mom is not fun. I don't know how moms with multiple kids do it. I don't even know how moms in general do it because I'm like, girl, how do y'all get anything done? Like cooking takes like, two to three hours then you have to clean what you cook and then after that they're already hungry again like girl what um so that was like hella stressful hella stressful and then so then that happens right that's the week that they left they left on a thursday my dad left on wednesday mom left on a thursday so i'm already struggling through the week i feel like i've already had like several meltdowns over the weekend just because i'm like oh my god like this is so hard I can't get any work done so I'm like super frustrated you know because I have kids and then Michael gets really 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 sick on Monday so he has tonsillitis he's in bed with like a really bad fever like at some points I was like dude we need to take you to the hospital now otherwise like it's gonna be bad so we ended up not taking him to the hospital just because we were able to like get his fever down but it was like he would feel better and then he would get like really sick again so it was just so annoying so obviously I was like taking care of him you know feeding him um, going to like get medicine for him and stuff so that sucked because then that you know we were we had work to do and he was really frustrated too because we had a lot of work to do and he got sick but obviously your health comes, comes first so then that happened and then the day that I finally get back to work, he's still sick, mind you. He was still sick, but he's like, you need to get stuff done. Like, I'll be okay. Like, so, you know, um, just left him some soup or whatever. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to go and, like, I'm going to get stuff done. So I, you know, get back. Um, and I, by at this point, I had already pre-filmed a bunch of stuff. Um, 
from the week that before my mom had left I already pre-filmed a bunch of stuff so like that's why I was it even though I was stressed you know that I was taking care of my brothers or whatever I wasn't like freaking out because I still had like stuff you know I had like content to put up and I had all kinds of like good stuff to put up um, a bunch of videos a bunch of Instagram videos pictures um, so now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer so um, so yeah so that happened and so then tell me why that day I like you know I'm trying to get stuff done and obviously I'm not gonna film because I already filmed a bunch of stuff but I'm like alright so I'm just gonna edit and I'm gonna get some stuff up and this was on on Monday so Monday actually I had a mask Monday sorry if I'm all over the place I'm trying to remember exactly what day Monday is a day that Michael was really sick and so that night I was trying to get my mask Monday up and it was already uploading but it would get stuck you guys may have seen if you follow me on um, Instagram or snapchat it kept getting stuck on 8% and like at one point it was already fully downloaded and it got stuck like at 95% and so I went to re-upload and every time I went to re-upload it would only go up to 8 and so then I just gave up and I was like alright Michael kept getting like sicker his fever was just really bad so I was like alright forget it I'm just gonna have to upload it tomorrow so that was the day that he was like just you know work on your stuff I know you're like really stressed because you're not getting work done and I was like all right so tell me why my hard drive apparently crashes my external hard drive where I have one terabyte of stuff where I have all of my pre film stuff just literally everything my whole life is in that external hard drive well it crashed okay so I had a little mishap with my camera but we're back I did my eyebrows with my benefit goop proof and now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean them up um, but anyways, what I was saying is everything deletes off of my external, or it didn't delete, sorry, I'm lying. Um, it just, it crashed. So I called my person who does like my electronic stuff, my tech if you would, and he's on vacation till the next week. This is like, this was like on Tuesday, and he's like on vacation till the week after. So I'm like, okay. I'm literally so upset. I like cried all day. I just I was already having such a hard time like with my brothers and just everything and then this happens and then Michael's sick. It was just a lot. And so I'm like totally like bummed out, depressed. I'm like I don't want to do anything, you know, and then the next day I'm kind of like, you know what? We just have to like move on. What are you going to do? Like, I just hope that I can recover these files. So I'm like, okay, let's go to my backup person. Okay, so the day that I'm going to go to my backup person who like does like all my computer stuff. It's like my plan B or whatever. And I'm like, all right. I contact them. I'm like, all right, I'm going to send this to you guys. All right, cool. So then that day I'm like, I can't, I couldn't take the um, external to them because Michael got really sick again. So I was with him the whole time. So then the next day I'm finally going to take it. Well, never mind. I can't. It turns out that they had to rush to the ER. Something happened. Emergency surgery. So that's that. My first tech is on vacation. Sorry. And then my second tech, um, now got rushed to the ER so that like that was literally my luck I was like oh my god this cannot be happening to me right so now I'm going in with my benefit cosmetics 24-hour brow setter um, and so then I'm like dude can this get any worse right so I'm just having the worst week and so then um, Michael gets better finally he goes to the doctor thankfully it wasn't strep it was just tonsillitis so um so then that's that I'm still having like a crap week so then I'm still having to like take care of my brothers and like do all this like cooking stuff and like that's overwhelming and like it's just really stressful so then they go back to school so it's like good but it's also bad because it's like now I have to do more at like an earlier time um, but also positively they're leaving for the day so I can try to get stuff done um, so that was that um, but it sucks because I don't have my hard drive so it's like that whole week like I don't really have stuff to upload and I feel like crap so I don't really even want to film and like I tried to get myself to film but I was just feeling so down like I just let everything get to me and that's that's usually not like me if you guys follow me you guys know that I, I'm usually pretty like positive and I try to be like everything happens for a reason but it was just so much like it was like a lot like I would just 
feel like I was getting better and I was like back to it and then I would just like break down and cry when I would remember that I have like all of my photos all of my everything is on this hard drive so I would just like freak out so then finally the time came where my first tech got back and um, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Floral bl Blush. This is in the color Caribbean Coral. So he finally gets back, I take it to him and then um, so he reaches back out and he's like, all right, so the good news is that it might be recoverable. Um, I went a little ham on the blush. Um, he's like, it might be recoverable but so the hard drive was done, but we might be able to like still um, get back all of the files that are on there. So I still haven't taken it to him just because I had to buy I had to buy another hard drive and had to buy a bigger hard drive. Um, so that way I'm able to store everything from in there, and then you know I'll still have like leftover storage. So that's currently the situation on that. Um, I'm gonna be taking it this coming week. So hopefully we're able to recover all the files. So now I'm going to be going in with the new Oprah Cosmetics Matte Palette. Let me see what the actual name Must Have Mattes. Um, so we're going to be going in with this orange right here. <clears throat> Actually, let's go in with this one. We're going to go in with this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and use this fluffy BH Cosmetics brush and just kind of go in up here all around. So that's kind of what's up with that. Um, obviously, if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should, but I've been posting content, so I've been trying to get back in, you know, back in the game, but it's been hard also because I was, when all this happened, I was like in the middle of relaunching my blog. Um, so I was like in talks with like a designer to like get everything done and like that kind of had to be like put on hold because just, I had like too much stuff going on, you know? So I'm like trying to balance that while also trying to like get all these like YouTube videos up now. But thankfully whenever I get my hard drive back, like you guys are gonna like have so much YouTube stuff because I'm just gonna be putting stuff out because like I said, I already had so much pre-filmed stuff that you guys are gonna be overwhelmed. Like damn, hella videos. But you know, everything happens for a reason. Also, like, I feel like I let the negativity get to me and it just, it was making it so much worse. Like, Michael was like, I've never seen you this negative. And like, also my best friend, she was like, dude, like, I would just, cause like, I always vent to her and stuff. So I'm like texting her and like calling her and she's like, honestly, you need to get it together. She's like, I have not heard you this negative in years. Like, you need to stop. And I was like, damn, like, it was also me, you know, but also when I spoke about it on um, on Snapchat, a lot of people were like, oh my God, I'm going through it too. Apparently it's like Mercury and retrograde or something. I don't believe in stuff like that, but let me tell you that the dates are on point. And I'm like, damn, wait, is this true? How does this work? So apparently Mercury and retrograde is where like, I know there's like a shift in planets or something and then it's it was supposed to be worse this time around because of the eclipse or whatever which I missed by the way um, but yeah so I don't really believe in that stuff but for this time I will believe it because I was really going through it on like those exact dates and I was like oh my god like miscommunication like judgment was off everything has just been off and I feel like I'm barely starting to like get back on it you know so that's very stressful like life hit me hard this August but September get ready so now I'm gonna go in with this brown right here um, yeah so it was just a lot of people were like dude I've been going through it too like I think it's just this month but I don't know what it was but it was horrible it was not a fun time to be going through it so it sucks because on there like I've been telling you guys like my engagement uh, get ready chit chat with me and then a, a chit chat about breaking my mom's nose and then everything that was going on so I have like a ton of chit chats catching you guys up on like months prior that got delayed and now will not, probably not even be posted I mean the engagement one yeah but obviously the broken nose one I don't think so because I just told you guys about it 
But um, yeah, so it sucks because it's like I've not updated you guys in a long time, but that's because all of the videos that I had to update you guys pretty much got torn out of my hand, if you would. So I'm just going into my crease on the outer part of my eye. I'm just blending that in. So now I'm gonna be going in with this one right here, which is like a light yellow orange, and then just a flat brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and be putting that in here. this like yellow Ooh, where did it go right here to brighten it up a little bit so anyways I had also took August off like from like traveling or anything so I missed out on so many events which really sucks but um I was like damn Thankfully all the mishaps happened like while I was home though because it would suck if I'm like going through it somewhere else, you know? So I took that same orange that we used for our, as our transition. So I took that same orange that we used as our transition and I'm just gonna line the bottom, bottom of our waterline. All right, so in my waterline, I went in with my Makeup Forever S50 Aqua XL Pencil, and now I'm gonna go in with my eyelashes, and these are, these are Lashylicious Fluffylicious, yes. Um, but what I did wanna ask you guys is, is um, like the whole mercury and retrograde thing that kind of like caught my attention so if anybody knows more about it like let me know i'm not very big on like horoscopes or any of that i'm using my maybelline um master chrome um i'm not too big on like uh like horoscopes and all that stuff just because i'm a cancer and some things i'm like yeah but then some things i'm like mm, that's hella not me like not even close you know so like I'm not too into the whole astrology thing but my friend uh, she recently or she's always been kind of into the Chinese zodiacs and um, like there's a lot of things that I'm like oh my god like I when she told me about it I started looking up like my family's like um, what is it a zodiac <laughs> Um, and then Michaels and stuff and it was pretty like accurate so I was like hmm I wonder if this is a lot more accurate than like the regular one you know um, so if you guys know anything about it definitely fill me in I'm gonna be going in with my Be Hue natural nude liquid lipstick you guys I love this liquid lipstick I feel like it makes my lips look bigger like the perfect nude all right guys so I just popped in some contacts and some earrings and your girl is ready to go not really I can't go anywhere with these contacts because I can't actually see so just for looks guys, just for looks. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you guys get sad, do not make the mistake that I did. I started making myself feel more sad and I just was acting like a total victim and I feel like that's part of the reason why things got so bad is because my negativity was just radiating and it was just like universe bring me more to be negative about you know so anytime that you're feeling down on yourself you have to look at the positive everything happens for a reason so just try to see the light and everything i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time